This is a Douglas fir, which is quite a common tree in America, but uh, this one is huge and you can tell it's old as well because of how textured the bark is, without damaging the tree obviously. You can see all these little holes here and how like multi-layered the bark is, you can see here, Douglas fir from North America, West North America. But in the last few uh, months and even the last couple of years, I've been learning a lot about forest ecology and I recently read um, Dr. Suzanne Simard's, or Simard's uh, book on um, mycorrhizal networks in American and Canadian forests. She's a Canadian professor of ecology at the University of British Columbia. And so in her 1997 experiment, she proved that Douglas firs do actually communicate and share resources with the other trees. Uh, they warn other trees of oncoming threats like bark beetle and things like that. And if other trees are shaded, or if they're not receiving adequate nutrition or sunlight, then um, different trees like the Douglas fir, for example, will send out its own sugars and carbohydrates through its roots into the mycorrhizal fungus underground and to these other trees. Not only that, but her newest um, sort of hypothesis that she um, named her book after, which is called Finding the Mother Tree, is that when you get a tree like this, this old, this veteran, um, from which most of the other trees in the forest will have spawned from its, its um, seeds, then this tree is sort of like the, the hub of the ecosystem and all of the other trees in the forest, not just the um, similar trees, but trees of other species as well, will connect back to the mother tree through the mycorrhizal network. Now obviously it's not exactly accurate to think of an ecosystem as relying all on one thing, but it's certainly a staple in the ecosystem. And down here, as these roots spread out, then this tree is likely spreading out to every other tree around that it can. And um, yeah, it's just a fascinating thing to see in person. So if you haven't read it, or if you've never heard of it, then check out um, Dr. Suzanne Simard's book on finding the mother tree. And also Peter Wallaben's book on um, the hidden life of trees, um, which he's a German uh, forest, forestry practitioner and he's written some amazing books on it as well. So yeah, I thought I'd just share a few words on that.